On your mark, get set, go! All the way across! Hi there, my name is Mark Summers. You may know me from Double Dare. You may know me from What Would You Do? Perhaps you watch the Food Network and watch me uh, do Unwrapped, but uh, I've been around for a while. Welcome to Double Dare. This is the show where we run through a crazy obstacle course and in the process win eight fabulous prizes. Double Dare started uh, on October 6, 1986 in Philadelphia of all places. They had auditioned a thousand people in New York, didn't like anybody, moved to LA. I was the first person to audition and I got the job. It was fun. We uh, started off doing four shows a day, then five shows a day, and we got up to six shows in one day times five days. That was 30 shows a week. The contestants were chosen by a contestant coordinator, such a great name, uh, who worked in Philadelphia. And the thing that made us distinctive over anything that was on the Disney Channel was we used real kids. Uh, we didn't have the blonde-haired, blue-eyed, uh, perfect uh, child. Our kids had acne and their hair was messed up. And I think the kids at home related more to the people that we had on our show than anything that was uh, currently running on Disney at that time. Answer that question or take the physical challenge. The big key word was physical challenge. You wanted to take a physical challenge and the kids at home wanted you to take the physical challenge. And then after that, it was going to the obstacle course. You win eight obstacles in 60 seconds or less, you go to space camp. Audience, cheer them on. On your mark. Get set. Go. Get in there. Find that thing. Find that flag. Let's see if they're going to leap on over there. What a move. Oh my goodness. Are you okay? The favorite physical challenge of all time on uh, Double Dare was pies in your pants. There was a catapult over here. You'd put a pie down. You'd shoot it up in the air. Somebody had clown pants and they had to catch three pies in their pants in 30 seconds or less. The one thing that I had trouble with with physical challenges was um, pet food. You see, if you open up a can of dog food, I pretty much lose it. And so they kept trying to get me to do this physical challenge. And as soon as I walked over to the set and there was all this dog food, I almost lost it. Uh, I puked almost. And I had to go outside and they had to change the physical challenge. So here's the thing I didn't know when I started Double Dare is I had uh, this little thing called obsessive compulsive disorder. Now, mine was about neatness and orderliness, but it was a little bit about staying clean and, and not getting messy. So here I am, uh, age 34, finally got my first show on television. I didn't know that it involved all this mess. Um, so uh, people say to me all the time, well, you must have hated it. I didn't, you know, think about it. I had been around in LA for about 13 years. It was my first real job in television. So I was happy as hell to have it. And, and so uh, the slime didn't bother me in any way, shape or form. Now, after the show, did I want to get, uh, you know, showered and get that stuff off me? Absolutely. I think you're always a little OCD if you've had it. So I always say I'm 80% cured uh, and 20% every now and then it sneaks back into my life, but very rarely. James Taylor has a line in a song, uh, fortune and fame, such a curious game, perfect strangers call you by name. And that's it. You walk down the street and say, hey, Double Dare guy, hey, Mark Summers, hey, Food Network guy. So uh, you never get used to it. I can only tell you it's never comfortable. We were at a restaurant not too long ago and there was a guy who said, well, do you remember me? And I went, um, no. And he goes, come on. And I said, no. He goes, uh, the bodacious tatas. I went, what's that? That was our team name. I said, are you on Double Dare? Goes, yeah. He says, you don't remember me? I said, how old were you? 11. How old are you now? 30. Okay, let me uh, figure that out. 11 to 30, uh, yeah, there's a reason I don't remember who the heck. And he got all bent out of shape. He got all, all angry with me that I didn't recognize him and the days he was on. I'll be asking you a question. If you don't know the answer, think the other team doesn't have a clue. You can dare them to answer it for double the dollars. But be careful because you can always double dare them back. I always wanted to host shows, but I didn't get my first opportunity till I was 34. Prior to that, I was doing theater. I always wanted to be in, on, on Broadway in a show. And uh, one thing leads to another, and I was a stand-up comic, and I was a magician, and I was a game show host, and I was a food guy. And then I got hit with a couple of odd things. One was cancer, and the other one was a car accident where I broke every bone in my face. So I cheated death twice, and I figured, well, if I'm going to do theater, now is the time. So uh, I did Summer Stock about six years ago. I played uh, Vince Fontaine in Greece. And I met a couple of guys who were young uh, up-and-comers on Broadway. And um, I talked to them about doing a one-man show, and they wrote it for me, and we performed it last year uh, at a place called Bloomington Playwrights Project in Bloomington, Indiana, and then we did the Adirondack Theater Festival, and we're now in conversations to take it around the country and also do it off-Broadway. So uh, it involves many aspects of my life, uh, prior to Double Dare, after Double Dare, Food Network, and everything in between. 
And uh, currently, there is a documentary coming out. It's called On Your Mark, M-A-R-C, little play on words of Double Dare. We just uh, made an arrangement with something called Alamo Draft House. These guys have the best movie theaters all around the country. And starting in October, November, we're going to launch this documentary that was shot behind the scenes of doing a one-man show and everything in between. So uh, should be very interesting. Here's the question that I get all the time. If they brought Double Dare back, would I do it? And the answer is absolutely, why not? We did a 30th anniversary show that aired uh, last Thanksgiving, got huge numbers. We did a live Facebook thing. Um, I still do appearances around the country. Uh, there's no reason not to. I did it from 86 to about uh, 96, and then it ran in reruns till about 2000. Somebody else tried it for a short time. Unfortunately, it didn't work out for them. Uh, for whatever reason, I'm always thought of as the guy who hosted that program, and so, uh, there are constant conversations going on about bringing the show back. Will it happen? I don't know. And when you hear this sound, that means the game is over. 